Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Today I'm doing a makeup tutorial on this like pastel spring makeup look. This went a few different ways. I had this original look in mind and then I went a different direction, didn't work out. So you'll kind of see like my thought process as we go along. So I hope you guys like this. Please subscribe and let's just jump right in. So for today's makeup, I was inspired by Nikki makeup. I had this look idea in my head, but I couldn't figure out exactly how I wanted it to look. So I went to her page for inspiration. She's got some of the best looks ever. So I really love this look. It's just a light lavender flush of color on the lid, but I'm wanting to do something that's like the color of my sweatshirt, just a very pale blue flush on the lid. So she did do this. This is a similar color that I want to do, but this is way more dramatic. So these are my two inspiration pictures. I don't really have anything that's this color. I'm going to do the face first so that I can uh, kind of think about that while I'm getting ready. I don't know if you've noticed, but the lighting's probably a little bit different and it might change throughout this video. I'm trying to work more with natural light just because it's way more inspiring for me having just like the shades open and the light coming through. I just really, really like it. I wish I could have both of these windows open, but we live on a somewhat busy street. So it's just really, really loud. It's even loud with the windows closed, so. Yeah, so the primer I'm gonna be using is the Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Primer in Perfecting. This has been my go-to primer as of lately. Also, we had one really, really nice day and actually it's starting to get a lot nicer here. The first two weeks of staying at home, um, we had snow and like really cold weather but it's slowly kind of starting to get nicer out really quick i'm going to go into the it cosmetics anti-aging armor shake this up but yeah we had one really nice day that was i think it hit 70 degrees that day and i sat outside in the sun i didn't even think about it because it's been so long since we've had like an actual warm day <laughs> that i got sunburnt and it's been a couple days now. I think that was on Friday and today's Monday. So it's starting to go away, but like my nose and my forehead were beet red. For concealer, I'm gonna try the Shiseido. Oh, what is this called? Synchro Skin Self Refreshing Concealer. I loved this like all last summer. I haven't used it in a while. And then I'm gonna go into my Sigma FO3 High Cheekbone Highlighter Brush. This is my favorite for my concealer. So I'm just gonna go in and blend this in. So it's so funny because I feel like everyone took out their extensions yesterday. I did as well. I took out five chunks, it's not the technical term, but like five tapins. Um, and I actually really, really like the way my hair feels with it. I'm gonna go into the Bondi Bay stick from Nude Sticks. I'm gonna pick it up on my It Cosmetics brush. After this, I'm gonna take Pretzel for another walk. I took her this morning, but I'm just trying to eat up all of the nice weather as much as possible just because we've had such shitty weather and the next couple days it's supposed to be rainy, so I wanna go again. So I'm not sure if I wanna do like a wash of color all over my lid or if I wanna do like a liner because I do have this which matches perfectly. So I'm actually thinking I might just do like a thick graphic liner with it. I'm gonna go into this powder from Pure Cosmetics. Looks like this, and I'm gonna set my whole face with it. This gives a little bit of coverage. I don't want too much on the forehead because I actually like the reddish tone I have going on. I'm gonna grab a little bit of the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. This is where I set all of my very oily areas. So right here, it's like on the side of the nose and where my pores are. And then I do right between my eyebrows. I get so oily like in here and there. Bring it in the middle of the forehead. Okay, I am going to use a powder bronzer and also kind of like contour with it. This is the Cheek Stars Reunion Tour Palette from Benefit and I'm gonna go into the Hoola Bronzer and then probably mix all three of the blushes together and then also highlight with cookie. Hula very lightly. I feel so bad because I have two of my best friends were getting married two months before me. It was May, June, and July. My wedding's in July. Both of them think that they're gonna have to cancel or reschedule their wedding. I'm very, very grateful that mine is as far as it is, but also 
Our wedding is extremely simple. There's not much going on with it, which we obviously don't want to reschedule, but if we do, like, it's okay, no big deal, and the dates next year are the same as this year. But I just feel so bad. I mean, I know there's a lot of people that are affected negatively by this in more ways than just a wedding and stuff, but I just feel bad. My one friend said that her, the venue that she's getting married at will let her, like, change the date for free, which is amazing, because I, I mean, depending on the contract, I'm sure that they could get away with just you know, I don't know. I mean, that'd be really shitty of them, but you know, I'm pretty sure that they could if they wanted to. I'm going with Hoola still, but I'm using the Smith 112 brush just to get a more precise contour. So now for blush, I'm just gonna mix those together. And then I'm gonna go in with Cookie and do cheekbone highlight. Oh, that is icy. I'm gonna grab a little bit of champagne pop from Becca. This is the mini size one. Add that into this because, whew, that looks better. It neutralized it. I'm just like not into like crazy, crazy beaming highlights. Like I forgot that that cookie was as intense as it is. I like more of a natural highlight. I've become just into very, very natural makeup lately. A little annoyed that it's been sunny all day and as soon as I sit down to film with natural light, it's getting cloudy. Why? But see, I feel like you can really see the makeup right now. You can tell it's not blended. <laughs> That's natural lighting is real to feel. Okay. I'm gonna go into the Precisely My Brow Pencil from Benefit. Okay, and now I'm gonna go into Gimme Brow from Benefit. I'm also in shade number three in this. And this makes my eyebrows look so fluffy and natural. And now I'm gonna set my face. I would have done it before doing my brows, but I've found that when I get the setting spray in my eyebrows, then my like eyebrow product doesn't apply very well. Um, I'm gonna go into the Morphe setting spray. I'm priming with the Painterly Paint Pot from MAC. And I think I decided what I'm gonna do with the eyes. Since I don't have an eyeshadow that's like dead on, I'm gonna do the liner because that matches pretty perfectly. I'm gonna use the Going Coconuts palette. I had full intentions on using something totally different, but I think this is gonna work the best for what I'm gonna do. So I'm going to grab, this is a Refer number 16 brush, and I'm gonna go into, first actually I'm gonna go into the Hoola bronzer that I used on my face, because it's just gonna tie in all the colors and stuff, so. Just very lightly, I'm holding far back on my brush not to apply too much. This is just gonna give the first initial shadow and then we can see if we need any other shadows because I'm kind of liking that. Lightly on the bottom, look up when you do the bottom. Okay, I do need a little bit of coolness in here so I'm gonna go into Coolada, which is this cool toned brown shade. It's gonna deepen it and cool it down a little bit too. I love mixing warm and cool together. It's like my favorite look to do. So I'm keeping that really close into the crease and lightly buffing once everything's off. And then when nothing's on the brush, basically, I'm just tapping that underneath. And now I'm gonna take the shredded shade and just add that onto the lid with my fluffy brush. And it's gonna diffuse the separation between the lid and the crease so it's not like lid, crease, it kinda just will flush over it and it'll make your eyelid look bigger. I'm gonna go into the Inglot number 88 gel liner and it's completely dried out. Great. Okay, well, I cannot find my Duraline. <sighs> so I can't find my Duraline. Duraline is basically like a dropper that goes into your eyeliner once it's dried out, kind of just like reactivates it. I don't have that and this is dry as a rock, which sucks because even with the shadows I was going to use, I was gonna use this as a base. We're just gonna improvise. So I do already have that crease on. It's still gonna work. We're gonna 
hopefully try to match this color. I'm gonna clean off some brushes here. So this shade is a little bit more green. On camera, it looks a lot closer than in person. In person, this is very blue and this is very green. But this is the Aqua Eyeshadow from Anastasia. I did apply that light color, didn't I? Shoot. I'm gonna go back in with <laughs> Hot mess. I'm grabbing a little bit more of my primer because I put that white creamy shadow on the lid. I didn't think I was gonna be applying anything else, so it needs more stick. Pack this on. We'll get to the crease. Okay, yeah. See, if I was gonna do this, I wouldn't have did the crease shades. I'm just gonna sweep this very lightly on the bottom. I'm gonna go back into that cookie highlighter and I'm gonna highlight my brow bone and the inner corners of my eyeballs. And since the whole eye is matte, I'm just gonna add this super highlighty color up on the brow bone. And it's the same one that's in the inner corner. Just a little 90s. I'm into it. Actually very happy with how that turned out. Um, especially considering I had to like completely change the route of what we were doing. All right, I'm gonna go into the Essence Extreme Lasting Eye Pencil. This is in a nude color. This reminds me a lot of the Rimmel Nude Liner, except this is just a little bit more pale. So if you have more warmth in your skin, I would definitely go for the Rimmel one. Uh, that one's my personal favorite, but this one's also very good. It's just a little bit more vanilla than just straight up nude. I'm gonna go into the Tarte Man Eater Mascara. Just coat the lashes. Pushing my lashes down before I apply these because they're got that lift still and it's really hard to put on lashes with it. So these are the Here to Slay lashes from Velour. These weren't ready to apply yet, so I'm having issues. And then I'm gonna go into the MAC Extended Play Mascara and get the bottom lashes. So now that that's done, I'm gonna go into the KKW Beauty Nude 0.5 Lip Liner. And then I think I'm gonna go over that with the IT Cosmetics Vision Lipstick. This is in the Cream Formula. And that is the finished look. I am happy with how it turned out considering it didn't go as planned, but ooh, my neck is like pale. Let's fix that. I do wish that the uh, eyeshadow was a little bit brighter. I know if I had that liner that I was using even as a base for this, it would definitely have gone way closer to this color, but instead it's a little bit more minty. But yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed following along with today's tutorial. I'm excited to get back into makeup tutorials and other kinds of videos. So let me know your makeup request or makeup tutorial request and let me know your other video requests. And let me know what kind of stuff you guys are into right now just because this is very weird. Probably just makeup, I'm guessing, because that's a good way to practice new techniques past the time, all that kind of stuff. I really wanna do a bridal tutorial because right now for anyone that's gonna get married, now's a good time to kind of like practice those techniques if you plan on doing makeup yourself. So yeah, just let me know what you guys wanna see. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're doing well. Please subscribe and I will see you very soon. Bye.